Hello, welcome to this video. And um, in this video, we're gonna show you a, a neat little trick when doing composite filling, when seemingly that one surface has got decay in it and the another surface next to it hasn't got decay in it, okay? So what can happen is when you're trying to drill um, uh, one surface away, there's a possibility that you might damage the tooth next door to it. Now, in, in this case, actually, when we, uh, when we remove the decay, we actually find there's decay in the other surface. But I don't want to detract from the learning experience here. What we're using here is a wedge guard, and, and, and it's like a normal wedge. This is from the Paladin series of, um, of, uh, of sectional matrices. And then there's a wedge, and connected to this wedge is like a, like a silver strip. And what it does is it protects the tooth from the the drilling. So as you can see here now, we've we've drilled out the the gate decay completely. And as we pull the wedge guard away and we inspect the the silver protective part of this wedge guard, you can see that 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 grinding there would have been on the tooth itself. But actually, when we looked at the tooth, I can see that there's decay in the distal aspects of that four as well. So we're having a little look with a with a probe here, because sometimes that can just be staining, but actually, in this case, it, it was decay, um, and we had to uh, remove that decay with a fast hand piece and a slow. So here I'm just using a, uh, a probe just to feel the base of the cavity here, just to see if there's any is decay left. And you can see that I've broken the contact point there. And the first um, matrices I'm gonna use is just a normal matrix band. I suppose what I could do is I could use um, two sort of sexual matrices, Garrison or, or Paladent. But in, in this case, it, I just found it easier just to uh, create the first surface just with a matrix band. It's just less fizzly, fiddly, le less to go wrong. And here what I'm doing is I'm just etching and bonding the cavity and I'm using just uh, a normal bonding agent here and just the light. Okay, yeah. And sometimes in, in cases I'll, I'll use a little bit of uh, flowable in the base of the cavity but in this case I just felt like the cavity was, was small enough for me to go straight for the, uh, the, 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 the capsuled um, composite. And I suppose um, your keen-eyed viewers out there would say, well, maybe I've placed a uh, to a larger um, bulk of um, composite there. But I think in this case, it's such a small filling. Obviously, the C factor is something we need to take into consideration. But when I remove the, um, the, the matrix band, I'll be able to, uh, to set uh, the surface where the matrix band was sitting. So I, I am happy that this is um, this is not too much composite to set in, in one go. So I'm just bonding here, removing the uh, matrix band, and you can see there's a little bit of flash there, and that's some of that is composite, but it's also a little bit of bond, and we've we've cleaned it up all nicely, and now we've got a really really nice surface for our uh, sectional matrices, our paladin to push against. So what we did find is I couldn't physically get the uh, the sectional matrices into the gap. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a, a wedge to just to wedge the two teeth apart so this sectional matrices can, can sort of fit in nicely. And then once we move the wedge away, I'm just gonna push the sectional matrices down and I'm just gonna just readjust it. Because at the moment it isn't perfectly in line with the tooth. And this can be quite fiddly and also what you don't want to do is um, damage the sexual matrices too much because that's going to form the surface of the uh, of, of the filling and also sort of the the, the, the the sort of curvature of it if that makes any sense great thing about these wedge guards is they can be um, recycled so you can just pull away the old um, silver protector and then just use the the wedge um, it's just a normal wedge and I suppose in a way that that's really really good for um, you know cost effectiveness essentially so we're gonna re-etch and we're gonna agitate the etch here and then we're gonna 
wash it away all nice and clean and then we are going to use just a just a normal bond I believe this is I bond agitate the I bond into the cavity so in this case we're going to use flow um, this is really nice to flow into sort of kind of the base of the cavity and then light and then we're going to use the capsule and then it's kind of just a case of using um, instruments to just to manipulate the composite. I've got these fantastic instruments that were, um, the, I can't remember what they're called. What I'll do is I'll leave a little link below. And they're, 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 they're instruments you wouldn't find in a normal um, filling pack. And they're just used to just manipulate, like I said, the, the composite in a really, really nice way. I've got this kind of offset, um, uh, flat plastic which is really really useful and then I've obviously got this kind of cone um, sort of instrument here which which is really really nice to um, sort out contact points of the, the kind of the kind of like um, uh, the convex shape of, a, of, a, of, 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 of the filling as it emerges um, out of the contact and then we're going to remove the uh, the clamp and the wedge and the sectional matrices and then we're going to uh, light again for a little bit longer than usual and then we just inspect the tooth and overall it's a really 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 nice result we've got a really really nice contact point we're just going to remove some of the flash and i am super super happy with that the color match is really really nice and then we're just going to check the interproximal area, see if there's any more flash either side. And again, looks like a really, really nice contact point. And then the final thing to do is really just remove the uh, rubber dam and then check the occlusion, get the patient to bite together uh, in ICP and also laterally. And um, the contacts here are, are not too bad, but the patient did mention that they were feeling a little bit of... Um, like it was like the filling was a little bit high so we're just going to adjust the tooth here ever ever so slightly check the occlusion again and then the patient um, is, is really really happy great thing about using the microscope is we show the pictures to the patient on the on the big screen and they can kind of see all of our hard work and people really really like to see and overall, really, really nice result. And listen, you know, if you really, really like this video, if you um, are interested mainly in endodontics, in tooth, uh, in in, um, in uh, root canal, or just every now and again, I'll put a general dentistry uh, video up. Please like and, and really, more importantly, subscribe to my channel. Um, it just eggs me on to do more videos. Okay, have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye bye.